For me, it was the toughest thing that I had to deal with. It wasn't the gunfights. I found those therapeutic. It was an escape from real life. Hi, I'm Jason, and this is what I learned from my battle with PTSD. I was a soldier for 20 years, and for a majority of that time, I was someone that was a big non-believer in PTSD, in how people were affected by stressful situations, because I was I'd been in those stressful situations and there was, as far as I was concerned, there was nothing wrong with me. I felt like I was coping with it. You know, fast forward a few years and I'm eating the biggest slice of humble pie. I was in the middle of a gunfight and I was, you know, taking cover in a ditch. And whilst I was doing what I needed to do, I was suddenly overwhelmed with an emotion. It was obviously fear, but it manifested itself in a way that was completely alien. And I, I just wanted to be a 10 year old boy again at home with my mum. It was a reality check really but it was one that was probably the start of me realising that this thing called PTSD or mental health, whatever you want to call it, was real and existed in all of us, or had the, has the possibility of existing in all of us. My military career came to an end probably about two years before it was supposed to. You know, I had a 22 year career, but I ended up getting medically discharged at the 20 year point and my diagnosis was PTSD. My mental health got a lot worse after I'd left because of that lack of identity and loss of belonging and, and actually that's when the journey really did start to be fair and I struggled with suicidal thoughts. I stood on top of a cliff at one point, you know, contemplating throwing myself off. It was a moment where I was like, hang on a minute, if things have got that this bad, then what, what is it do I need to do? Do I throw myself off or if I turn around, what do I do? What do I need to do to stop this being an issue? And it was about being honest with myself, honest with my feelings, honest with who I was, and looking at what I needed to do next to move forward. PTSD, mental health, is a part of being human. It's a journey, you know, our lives are a journey, so it's just part of that journey. And I then moved on and met other people and started to speak to them. And, you know, as I started to talk more and more, I started to feel better about myself because I was actually being, instead of trying to hide something, I was getting it out there. Once it's out there, there's, you don't need to worry about hiding it. So. I found it very therapeutic just to talk, let alone actually look at what I needed to do to sort of make myself a more positive individual. I consciously acknowledge my emotions if I wake up in the morning and I feel down, I'll look at why I feel down and look at what I need to do going forward to make myself feel better. Whether that's go to the gym, or have a nice bowl of cereal, it doesn't matter. It's about acknowledging your emotions and a mental battle you know, although it's not visible, it can be probably the toughest thing anyone can deal with. However, it's all about how you want to deal with it.